spike. You know, what, what are some of the larger issues here? Uh, the president says that this is not about freedom. Whenever a politician or a politician in charge of the entire free world says something like that, I automatically assume it is absolutely about freedom. Your thoughts? It's always about freedom. The reality is it's not about COVID. We're already seeing a downswing of the re most recent surge. There's no reason to think that that won't continue. This is about, uh, this isn't about COVID any more than the Patriot Act was about Al Qaeda. It's about government asserting more control over your lives, your rights, your properties, and in this case, your bodily autonomy. And it's not going to work. We have other countries with much higher rates of vaccination and they're seeing record surges of COVID because that's what viruses do. And when this fails, is there a single person who is watching this, who thinks that Joe Biden will take a step back and say, you know what, this wasn't right. This vaccine mandate didn't work. We were wrong. Or do you think he's going to double, triple, quadruple down on bad, tyrannical, and ultimately unsuccessful policy? This is the problem with government. And the reality is there's only one way to fight back against this, and it's mass noncompliance. Government makes up less than 1% of the population. If even 5 or 10% of Americans simply refuse to comply, especially during this labor shortage, all of this goes away. Government has to take a step back and realize that they can't just run roughshod over the American people. Ben, that's a great point. Compliance has become my least favorite word. And I've seen mass yeah. noncompliance trending on Twitter tonight. Uh, I hope people follow that hashtag. And, and Spike, I think you're absolutely right uh, because, you know, these massive programs that are undertaken for the collective good always backfire. And you're also right that, that politicians never admit when they fail. Look at the Afghanistan withdrawal. Uh, this has been horrific, yet this administration has sprained its elbow, patting itself on the back for, you know, mission accomplished, guys. Job well done.